We want the coffee to be the irreplaceable parts of everyday life. The origins of Ogawa coffee go back more than seven decades to the island city of Kyoto, Japan. The company choosing Milk Street in Boston for its first U.S. location in 2015. Ogawa isn't just brewing up meticulously timed drips. They are producing world and national champion baristas. I love just making beautiful things every day that make people happy. Chris Marinuzzi doesn't hold that title yet, but he is a graduate of its rigorous training program. We usually start out with doing batch brew coffee and hand drip, and only after all of those things are mastered would you move to doing espresso drinks. Five to eight months before you earn a barista badge. I have two cortados. Thank you. Marinuzzi has been working here for several years, but the heart of his craft was designed early on. I had an espresso machine when I was in high school, and I would kind of try to make like really bad latte art. Ogawa is known for its custom etch art and freestyle designs. It's almost like learning an instrument. It takes a lot of practice. There's kind of two steps. So the first step is called making a canvas, which is where you pour milk from a distance above the cup. Then once the cup is about 40% full, you're gonna bring your pitcher really close to the cup because when it's really close is when the foam uh, will show up on the surface. Marinuzzi tells us it can take years to master the art of the pour. It's gonna go in your right hand. Okay, already messing up here, so okay. fill the center, right? Yeah, pouring right in the center, okay. we're making our canvas. But with a little help, or a lot. That was just on the line there, just on the line. We put our own twist on the love of coffee. I mean, if it's a heart, who can really say which one is prettier, right? This is true. <laughs> <laughs> Tucked away under the delicate vines of ivy, new kid on the Cambridge coffee block, Cicada Coffee Bar. People can call me Vincenzo. Uh, Vincenzo. Vincenzo, <laughs> vegan noodle spices. Vincenzo or Vinlay opened this Vietnamese inspired coffee shop during the pandemic. People told me you are crazy. I believe as a human, as an animal, we need to gather together. After COVID shut down his plans for a restaurant in Harvard Square, he was inspired by the saying if you build it, or in this case, hear it, they will come. I was so upset about that, but so I went to Vermont for hiking to relax. And then I hear about the sounds from the, the wood. I, oh, what is that? That's Sikira. So for me, Sikira, that means summer. Summer, that means no school, no structure. Just wander around, hang fun. The vibe lives slowly to feel deeply. I don't allow any kind of machines because I want the people living in the moment. Lei won't kick you out for working here, but he prefers you enjoy the art or conversation and certainly the coffee. On the sweeter side, thanks to condensed milk, originally used in Vietnam due to the scarcity of fresh milk. Some part of Vietnam they use sea salt to elevate about the flavor of the coffee. So we bring all of those elements to Sikita. From the Saigon latte, to the signature sea salt shaker, all served side by side with fresh Vietnamese dishes. The future of coffee may just be iced, or should we say frozen? Melting an ice cube is a lot easier than brewing a pot of coffee or pulling an espresso shot. Cometeer Coffee, based in Gloucester, Massachusetts, is the brainchild of Matt Roberts. He grew up in Ipswich, but it was a semester abroad in college where convenience birthed creativity. Trying to make everything from a latte to an iced coffee um, at my apartment was just a nightmare. So I came up with this clever idea to actually freeze a boldly brewed espresso strength pot of coffee. Roberts decided to take his frozen capsules to a trade show where George Howell was speaking. As you know, George is the, the godfather of specialty coffee. I showed him my early prototypes and he practically spit them out. But Howell offered him some advice and gave him time to perfect his idea with better coffee. Our process really all starts with a better bean. Our roasting partners source these beans, cook them to perfection, and then Cometeer tags into the last leg, the grinding and brewing step. And we're grinding coffee in a way where every particle is approximately the same size, which allows us to go into every grind and evenly dissolve the good flavor and aroma compounds. And the result is this super rich, 
liquid coffee that's 10 times stronger than a normal cup. Ship to your home where you can enjoy it machine free. Black, have a latte or on ice. And Cometeer says that Gloucester is the perfect home for the company's flash, fresh, frozen coffee. Well, there's some history there, right? Because yeah. in the 1920s, uh, General Seafood came up with the flash freezing process yeah. for fish, and that was headquartered in Gloucester and founded by Clarence Birdseye. Everyone knows the Birdseye name, an innovator in frozen food technology. So it all comes full circle.